Okay, YouTubers, I'm going to show you how to uh, get a piezoelectric igniter from a lighter to work in your Benzomatic TS4000. <clears throat> I shop high and low on the internet and can't find a igniter for it. And the companies I've contacted they don't have them and they don't know a source so and Burnsomatic doesn't sell them either they want you to buy a new one and up here in Canada they're sixty dollars anyways I got this at the a mini electronic lighter at the Dollarama, Dollarama store and to take it apart <clears throat> take off the silver thing just give some leverage on both sides here and it'll snap right off and then pop off the trigger the spring which you won't need this will pop off in the Wires held in a little uh, uh, groove here. Just pop that off, and there's your piezo electronic igniter. Now to take apart your TS4000. Hold on to the silver trigger. Get an Allen wrench and loosen this. You don't have to remove it all the way. There's a spring here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Slide this down in a downward direction because there's a wire. There's an Allen key here also too. Loosen this off. This comes off. And there's also a, a spring here, and watch it. The spring here's got a closed end at both ends, with a, I mean a, a slit in it. And the wire protrudes a little bit above that hole, so there is the original one, which doesn't spark anymore. I've, I've tested it. Uh, with a screwdriver to ground, just like, uh, just like that. Anyways, and it just happens that it's one and three eighths long, which is perfect. Now take your piezoelectronic from the lighter, and you're going to have to bend the wire down this way and straight up and slide it in the in the hole up here and the, the back hole because the front hole is for the, the holding trigger so uh, let me get my uh, flashlight. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure the wire is sticking up the hole there, which it is. And you can drop your your spring down here. You can mount the, your nozzle back on and tighten it. And what I did, I tried this before, and the trigger didn't have enough uh, length inside. So I took a piece of, uh, of wooden stir stick, measured it across, and cut a square on both ends and slid it right down to the bottom. So now, put your hold down button in the hole. 
and line up your uh, piezoelectric inside. And slide your on off switch. locking screw tighten both down make sure this works which it does you want to check the first spark, take the nozzle off. And it is sparking against the ground, as you can see. Put your nozzle back on. Put your propane cylinder on. And Voila, it works for a dollar. Thank you very much.